So we're here at the Renaissance here at the Arm Tech Con, and uh, who are you? So I'm Samir Haddad, I'm the director of marketing for microcontrollers and microprocessors for the American region. So uh, Renaissance and microcontrollers, uh, uh, you're the leader, right? Yes, so we are number one in the world for microcontrollers. So as uh, we have been a supplier and, and number one for many years, uh, we are a Japanese company with headquarters in Tokyo. Uh, and we supply microcontrollers and microprocessors for all kinds of markets. We are very strong in automotive, we are very strong in industrial. Uh, and we, these, uh, these days and lately, we are uh, pushing a little more in the Internet of Things and security, which is a, a be very big theme for this uh, ARM tech company. So what kind of architecture do you use in all these microcontrollers that you ship? So we use uh, many kind of architectures. Uh, we use, we have a, a broad line of uh, proprietary uh, MCUs that we use, proprietary cores. How do you call those uh, proprietary systems? Oh, we have, for instance, RS-78, RX, that are the, the cores that are developed by Renesas. But we use also many ARM-based uh, 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 core, so typically Cortex M, Cortex A. So we have a wide range, and we have today a very wide range of uh, solutions based on the ARM core, from Cortex M0 Plus up to Cortex A50 uh, type of devices. Cortex M0 Plus here, for example, you have uh, accurate LED lighting. Well, how does that work? Yeah, so basically, this is, uh, for instance, an example of uh, an application that you can do with all devices. And uh, what you have here is uh, a LED lighting controlled by your Cortex M0 uh, device. Uh, it's based on the Synergy platform, Renesa Synergy S1 device. And it's uh, able to control the uh, exact temperature of your uh, LED lighting. So you can go to a very warm color or very uh, cold colors. Uh, and it, it can sense the environment, sense the light environment, and uh, uh, determine, determine what exactly, how the LED must be controlled. So what's the history of uh, Renaissance? Uh, uh, based in Japan? Yes. Yeah, so you're, you're the number one uh, in Japan for chips, right? No, we are the number one in the world for MCUs. Uh, so our history comes from uh, back from time of a uh, very long time ago. In fact, uh, Itachi Semiconductor was very popular uh, and one of the first ones to, to provide uh, microcontrollers, 16-bit and 32-bit microcontrollers. The same for Mitsubishi. And these two, two companies merged. And then after some time also, uh, they merged with another Japanese company, NEC Semiconductor. So uh, Renaissance really builds on the strength of this free uh, I would say uh, historic leaders of the microcontrollers and microprocessor market. Um, Here we're looking at the Cortex uh, A processor series for embed. Yes, so here we are showing uh, what you can do with your Cortex A type of device. So it's not microcontroller, it's like, these are yeah. microprocessors. They are based on the Cortex A. And we have a very nice uh, uh, board that we develop based on the embed uh, solution from ARM. So ARM Embed, you know, it's, uh, it's a maker community and we developed this uh, GR Pitch board yeah. that, is, uh, that is based on the, the RZA device, which is a Cortex A9 at 400 megahertz. So it's a RZA? Very yeah, very powerful uh, embed, the most powerful embed uh, solution. It's a Cortex A9. A9. Cortex A9, 400 megahertz. So we have, uh, with this, you can build like some nice game here. It's a game, in fact, where you can uh, uh, just uh, uh, swipe and try to, uh, to beat the clock. So this is very kind of uh, very nice graphic application that you can build with this small board. Yeah. And we can, here you have like a barcode scanner, a full barcode scanner that is based on this board. Again, um, so you can see here you have the camera, you have all the board, and you have some uh, extension to, to drive the LCD screen. All right, so powerful, most powerful, and uh, you have from low perform, you have the entry very small to bigger. Yeah, exactly. That's a good uh, example. We have the for the light LED lighting. We have very uh, let's say entry level ARM base processor based on the Synergy platform, S1 device, and we have this Cortex A9. And we can have even uh, some even higher performance devices. And this is, I would say, the top of the line for our industrial market. Uh, these are uh, processors based on the uh, Cortex uh, A7 and A15. So we call it the RZG. Uh, and you can see here, so this, this is running Android, 
with graphics, with a graphic accelerator, 3D graphics. You can see this is uh, very complex to render. We have a, a kind of, uh, um, let's say, ring, uh, ring with uh, uh, it's, uh, mirroring the, the, the sky. And this demo, I think, I need to start it. Okay. Yeah. This one is... Uh, this is not even yeah. entered, maybe something yeah, else. This is a Linux, this is a Linux based uh, platform. Uh, using uh, uh, software from our, our partner. And you, uh, you do uh, ARM V8M? So, yeah, so we have a very uh, wide range of, uh, again, ARM based uh, solution. Very wide range so of this is a new announcement by ARM, is uh, M23 and M33. Yeah, exactly. So you already have something to show about that? Yes, exactly. So we are already, already, we are already implementing. So this is based on an FPGA platform. But we are already designing uh, around these two cores, so we have uh, we are licensee of this, uh, these two cores, M23 and M33. And just to show the, that we are really taking a leadership position in adopting ARM uh, IPs and ARM solutions, because we already have uh, something that is running on these, uh, these cores. It's running with IAR, one of our partners for tools, and also ExpressLogic, one of our partners for uh, real-time operating systems. So it takes a few months or uh, maybe a year or something, and then the chips are out? I cannot comment about the exact availability of the chip, but I just say that, yes, this is a living proof that we are working on this, uh, with this course. And this uh, integrates Trust Zone, a bunch of stuff that's important for security. And you talk about the Sandbox, is that related to security? Uh, no, so that's Sandbox is more related to IoT, but if you want to speak about security, yes. Security is very important, and here we are showing a demo where you can uh, secure the manufacturing and secure the, the provisioning of your device. You know, in security, what is important is that the, you need to build a root of trust, have a very first bootloader that is secure, and make sure that your uh, uh, the, the software that you load and you, when you are in production, the first that you load in your device is the one that you want the, that is intended for your device. And this is the solution that we are showing here with. Uh, uh, the secure manufacturing and secure uh, mastering, master, master key generation by uh, Renesas. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what does it mean, the IoT sandbox? So, IoT look, sandbox looking is a, uh, a solution that we have developed for the Internet of Things. Of course, the Internet of Things is very big uh, these days, and uh, but we have seen that customers some, sometimes struggle about how how they build the application. What what can they do with IoT? So we developed this uh, solution where we provide a cloud solution, we provide a board to connect to the cloud, we provide a connectivity solution, and they can build a proof of concept very fast. And this is, for instance, an example where they can, okay, let's try to connect this uh, paper dispenser to the cloud. We did that in one week. We put our board. It's, uh, it's connected to some sensors in the, in the paper dispenser. And we can display that uh, in the cloud, and we have a monitor that can uh, check what's happening in the cloud. So based on that, then you can, let's say, the sky is the limit. You can, uh, you can define any kind of application or any kind of uh, way you want to monetize the IoT. All right, so um, Arm is an important partner for Renesas. Arm is a, a great ecosystem to work inside. Yes, Arm is a very important partner for Renesas. As I've seen, as you have seen, we have uh, many, many solutions based on the Arm core and uh, Arm solutions. And we are continuing to invest a lot. That's the demonstration with the Arm V8 uh, core. We continue to invest a lot in uh, Arm based solutions. We really want to be uh, the, the leader for MCUs and MPUs for the Arm based solution for the industrial and automotive markets. Thank you.